welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in Matthew 24, verse 4. Jesus answered, What's out that no one deceives you? We are living at a time where there are so many deceivers, impostors, people that try to take advantage of you, trying to present to you all kinds of schemes, hoping that they can get something out of you. Well, we are told, friends, to be careful. Be extra careful. Be extra vigilant and watchful. Amen? Don't let yourself be deceived. Well, a lot of people, friends, they are being deceived because, again, they submit to all kinds of deceptions. And they might say that the amount involved is not much. So they are willing, friends, they are willing uh, to take that risk. But supposing the amount involved is only $10 to you, it's a small amount. But if they are able to deceive a thousand of you, then that will be $10,000 to them. And that's the reason why they don't stop, friends, because somehow they will be able to deceive one. But a small deception can grow. That's the reason why I said, if there are a thousand of you, then that means 10,000 for them. Be very careful. Check your email. If you don't believe me, check your email. How many emails you get that is trying to deceive you? Try to get just even a little bit amount from you. And sometimes, friends, they even promise big amounts. But for you to be able to get that big amounts, what will they do? They said, oh, you got to pay a small fee. That's it, a small fee. Anything that you get, friends, any call that you get, any email that you get, that asks you to pay, don't pay. Amen. If indeed it's an inheritance that they said that you got a portion of it, just let them give you. And if there's a fee, let them deduct it from whatever you will receive. Tell them, you know, okay, if you if I'm receiving a million, well, even if I have to pay hundred thousand, I am I am willing to pay, but deduct it from the amount. Why pay out of your pocket? No. Amen. And if this is happening, friends, in the world today, in the financial world, the physical world, it's also happening in the spiritual world. There are many deceptions. A small amount, a small amount of sin. Well, it's okay. See, small things. They let you de be deceived by small things. But do you know that these small things can also graduate into bigger things? Because... Remember that in the kingdom of God, sin is sin, whether it's big or small. But they come to deceive you, friends. And because it seems that negligible, it's a small one. I can handle it. And you submit to these deceptions. But what happens in the end, friends, those small deceptions can grow. That's the reason why even the apostle Paul was saying that don't give the devil an inch. Because if you give the devil an inch, friends, well, that's an opening for him. Then he will come and devastate you. Therefore, be vigilant. Amen. Jesus was very emphatic. Watch out that no one deceive you. Amen. The devil can use anyone, friends. He can use a close friend. He can use a relative. He can use even a spiritual man to deceive you. Well, friends. Be beware. Amen. Don't just submit to them, friends. How can we protect ourselves from all these deceptions? Well, the Bible. Amen. The Bible. Read the word. Before this deciding to submit to them to whatever deceptions or whatever skips they're presenting to you, friends. Go back to your Bible and check. With the Lord. Lord, is it right for me to submit to this? Is it right for me to pay? Is it right for me to go along with them? Friends, pray, seek the ways and the will of God. And the Lord will be gracious, friends, and He will reveal to you things. Then He will open your eyes and let you see the magnitude of the deception and the implication of the deceptions. So, 
Be on guard. Amen. I cannot overemphasize this, friends. The devil is cunning. He got out of his schemes. He will come to outwit us. But don't let yourself be deceived. Rather, be able, you should be able to overcome them all. Amen. So, today, friends, listen to the voice of the Lord. Amen. Read your Bible. Seek the will of God. Always pray. And you will be, you will be far from deception. That's how you guard yourself. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you and lift up His countenance on you and give you His peace. Have the peace of God. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless. See you again next time. Bye.